sitting in the sunlight in the woods. <laughs> and the sheep are all coming to find me. <laughs> hey girls. How are you? All coming out of the woods. They're saying it's time for us to move on. They're all going that way. They're passing me by. It's cold. I'm in my one of my Zwart Plus wool jumpers. <laughs> I do love having the sheep in the woods. Isn't that right? How are you, sweetie? How are you? Yeah. <laughs> You good girl. Yeah. Not one of the bottle reared yos. She's just gotten used to me and doesn't mind having conversations with me, do you? So they're all going up through the woods over there. That's one of the crossbreeds, the one with the black face. Anyway. I came down to sit in the woods because I wake, woke up last night because I was really worried in the middle of the night because I looked, reviewed one of the videos I took in the woods. And I was like, oh no, the yos have started eating. I've got to clamber up. This beech tree is going to have to help me climb up. I'm getting old. And I was really concerned because the morning sunlight, I hadn't realized. I thought, no, it's gotta be the sunlight. It's gotta be the sunlight. I thought in another video, right there, that spot in the video made it look like the sheep had been barking the tree. Now sheep will bark the tree if they don't have the correct nutrients. Isn't that right, girls? Are you gonna come back this way? Come on, girls. Come on. So the tree isn't barked, much to my relief. And I woke up at three in the morning worried about it and didn't get back to sleep till six. It's one of those things that I worry about, sheep barking trees. But I came down here and it's the sun. The sun was so strong in the video, it made it look like the tree was barked and none of the trees are barked. Come on girls. Come on! Yeah! Because I had nightmares of what you were doing to trees, even though you were not doing it to trees. I'm going to let you go in the orchard now. Okay? Okay, ladies? We're going to go back up. We've collected the yos from the lower part of the woods. And we're going to go back up, and I'm going to let you through the gate into the orchard. Okay, ladies? I was taking a few photographs because they probably won't be in the woods again for a while. And I do love them being in the woods. It's so good for the woods and the biodiversity. And the woodland beetles get an injection of um, compost where they've been lying and eating. So it's nutrient value to the forest, woodland floor, etc. So, okay, ladies, come on. Come on, Woo. come on. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on, girls. Woo. Come on. We're going into the orchard. girls. <laughs> Out of girls. You waiting for me to keep going, huh?
They're pausing in the queue. There's a sight. Wonderful flock of sheep. The amount I graze them in the woodland is beneficial to the environment. I don't overgraze. Hence my little nightmare at three in the morning, thinking I had overgrazed the orchard. But you can see there's plenty of greens still in here. And they haven't touched the uh, a holly. These are the holly berries ready to feed the birds further into the winter. And great nesting facilities for um, the songbirds. <laughs> She's carrying half of a bramble bush. Atta girls, come on. You coming? Come on, girls, this way. Ah. You're here too. They're waiting for me to lead the way. They don't trust me. They don't think I'm gonna open the gate. Come on, ah. girls. girls Look at her with a bramble bush. Okay, ladies, the gate into the orchard. Now it takes two hands to do this, so I have to turn the video off. But you can see they've all collected behind me. Okay. The gate is undone and, um, oh, got caught. And they're off, charging out of the gate, galloping out into the field. Brindle, back off. Good girl. <laughs> Oh, I took the dead leaves off the top of the water tank, so it's refilling. There, very happy as. Heads down, eating apples. And there's loads of grass here as well. Loads of grass. And the boys are all very interested. Sorry, boys. This is why this double gate is really good. So thinking of doing a little bit of a pier, stone pier, out here. So bring that out to the level and then hang the gate on, off of it and it'll make it a lot easier. Because at the moment, this gate is not hanging. It's sitting on the ground. 
You having a good drink of fresh water? You good boy. Yeah. There's a lot of dead leaves that I took out because it would make the water rotten and it's refilling at the moment. I think I have a lot of happy sheep and I don't have to have a nightmare about a barked tree. The trees are all fine in the woods. Thank goodness it was just the sunlight, but it did wake me up at three in the morning. Not the kind of nightmare that normal people have just people like me. There's so many other nightmares happening at the moment in the world. And my nightmare of a tree being barked by my sheep is so completely superficial compared to what so many people are going through all over the world, not just in the places that are in the news at the moment. I'm gonna leave the gate into the woods open for the moment. Or are you going to eat and drink some water? No. Uh, just so that the sheep can go in and out now, but they have tons of grass here at the moment. <laughs> and they'll be meeting the rams early next month. So, um, was that? Oh, look who's arrived. Hey, kitty. Yeah. You beautiful kitty. Yeah. You're such a funny cat. Look at you. You are so funny. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You are such a funny cat, Mustard. You are such a funny cat. Oh, the smell of the sheep eating the apples is magnificent. Are you going to come up here? Are you going to come up there? Clever kitty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you beautiful kitty. You're such a handsome kitty. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, this just smells so good. And they're loving it. So glad I can wear woolly sweaters again. A really frosty morning. The frost is all thawed. So kitties are soft and warm. Ow, no, they're soft and warm and painful. <laughs> With their claws. <laughs>